that uh, the funeral procession has uh, now arrived. But uh, let's now uh, get our reporter, Ngulego Nyembezi, who is there to give us uh, the viewpoint of what's happening there. Very good morning to Ngulego. What's currently happening where you are? Thank you very much, Mpiwe. Yes, the family members have just arrived. In fact, they are arriving, uh, traditional leaders, uh, members of the clergy, and you can see that uh, their faces are full of sorrow, uh, some of them, uh, because uh, this uh, process of uh, fetching uh, uh, the spirit of uh, the dead is uh, practiced across many South Africans who believes, whose beliefs are entrenched in African culture and uh, traditions. So they are the clergy people who will be also performing a prayer because they differ uh, from one and one family to another in terms of beliefs as you can see that uh, those who believe in christianity they have just started singing we saw some traditional leaders and the family members who believes in the african culture carrying a branch of a tree known as Umpafa. You understand that Umpafa is used to take the spirit of the dead. A somber moment for the family members. Remember that these were the mothers, daughters sons whom some of them left many families alone now the pain is written on their faces as you can see that tears are rolling down their faces an indication of really realizing that this has happened there is no turning back their loved ones have died. The branch of the leaf called Umpafa. This is a very significant process, especially among families whose beliefs are entrenched in African culture and spirituality. This is Umpafa. They will speak to the dead. Uh, <laughs> Yes, 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 Tatabao, <laughs> 
Yo le nonga ngosi tima si zokta ata glomuzi. Nonge bomi ngama tibi sile. Nonge tobi le to. Uba si yoni bege kaya kuu. Si zabi si wenze inza ame uba si zola na banya ababa gotu zasi ba bega pe kati. Si uba bege kaya ngoba. Nonge si le familia wasi nina. Kunzi uba si si zoni chia pasi zoni bega pa nonge. Gule nonge ati si bona iba ili. Zelba geni si patega gosle. Bopiwa yom suto puto ano abazo chichi balon chacho ngo choba lude. Nisi patila kuhle ndele nisi ya soni bega ndi 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 Sengongo <laughs> Nobelungo. <laughs> Dimu putueno omtala. Kela se kotu geni ge. Bante bago yutu. Konum. Koko na pita wa. Kajamde. Oh. Eh, yu bezo. Kajo yutu. Kitezi la dewe na. Kono se pa unga para. Jero lomus. Kotu bala. Seka. Ya sasu pa unus. Kotu bala seka. Kosh. Aiba isa se. Pat. Yeah, as you can see that uh, these family members are just fishing the spirit of the death because, of course, they have got different beliefs according to their traditions and culture. Yeah, this is a sad moment. Families, you know that they have different reasons why they are performing this ritual of fashioning the spirit of the deceased from the crime scene. Some of them we know that they want to appease the dead. Some they want to honor the dead. And some want to protect the family from the bad luck as they, according to their beliefs. Mwanaolisikasimene <laughs> Kono unga shopi ubu yuzapa sikotuge siambe sieni kutimpe sioni bega ekaya beni genda hicho gele nenda tu uandi mama tobi lebe solo we kala na we tobi lo busi chuo fungi kwa kanga pa kuelabu tinge na mpiro elapa nguku siani tata namtange 
siko tuka nani, siyo ni bega, mwumne ni matembisile ekaya, siyo zama, apendele ni nisipate kako ule siya ni tela bo piwa yo msuto kutuwa no klabazo chichibalo nja chongo choba li, omje nguani, siya ni tela, ozibaya zikulu, nisipate kako ule engosi. Now Yes. This is really a super moment for these families. You understand that uh, this ritual provides a social system for, grief, for the grieving family and friends. It indeed eases the transition to a new life after the death of the loved ones and, and reaffirms that she or he is, has already, or he is or she in, indeed passed away. Asizulinda <laughs> Okay. Yeah, this member of the family is explaining that uh, they should, all of them, give the deceased a final respect. Then now uh, they will disperse to different venues where these people will be laid to rest. Okay. Okay. Yes, this is a situation right now. The reality of what actually happened. But now, this is the end of their life. Back to you at studio. All right, many thanks to Ngulego Nyembezi who has been taking us through the uh, you know the process of the families or the spirits visiting the home and i'm sure you've noticed that the bodies of the deceased uh, have been parked outside the home traditionally according to african culture it is believed that uh, a body of a person who died in a tragic manner such as a stabbing a shooting or in the manner that the 18 people died is not supposed to get near the yard of the home because um, it, it is believed that it attracts the same tragedy on the remaining or on the surviving members of the family. So as you've just seen, the remains have been parked outside and the spirits have been collected through a tree branch known in Isikosa as Umpafa. And it's believed that Umpafa has the ability of carrying the spirits of the deceased. So they've been taken to the home uh, to, to, to pay their last respects and they've now been taken back to the hearse and uh, they will be taken to the final resting place. Now this is the convoy of the deceased and the hearse uh, carrying the 16 members uh, of uh, the well of the different uh, families that have been gunned down in a mass shooting. There we go as they disappear into the sunset. Okay. 
Okay, so I do that. I will that We'll be chatting to Ngulego Nyembezi a little later on and as well as Fundi Swam Shebuta. And uh, we share with you this breaking news. It's more depressing news. Seven people have reportedly been killed in a collision between a truck and a taxi on the N2 in the Eastern Cape. Seven more people perished on the country's roads. So we'll give you the details as soon as we uh, get uh, in conversation and in contact with the police and the traffic authorities. But what we know for now is that seven people have been killed in a collision between a car and a truck on the N2 in the Eastern Cape. And uh, as we've been mentioning all morning, the remaining victims of the 18 people killed in Gobazana village will be laid to rest this weekend. And these are just some of them will pay tribute uh, through reading the obituary of the different members of the families that have lost their lives. Now, this is Matembisile Singlina. Matembisile Singlina there uh, was born on the 11th of June in 1950 to a deceased parents, Umanyembezi and Somakete in a Kanyayo location uh, in, uh, in the Eastern Cape. She studied in Ngweni Junior Secondary School uh, senior secondary school. She got married to Risa Mtoki Swasinglina and had four children and these unfortunately passed away. She leaves behind one daughter and four grandchildren. Rest in peace, Mahoto. Rest in peace, Mapagati. Nancy Galiswa is also one of the family members who lost their lives in that mass shooting in the Eastern Cape. Well, she was born in 1961 to a deceased parents, Maegiso and Makafonti in the Ndengana village. She studied in Dindindi Senior Secondary School. She started working at Boxer Supermarket in 1988 and retired in 2009. She had four children who all passed away. She lives behind a sister and her four children Rest in peace, Mamsutu. Rest in peace, Kabaza. Budwana will remember you. And uh, Nobelungu France is also uh, the one that we're paying tribute to. She was born on the 26th of June in 1976 to her deceased parents, Mkringelo France and Notemba Tuguza at Lambasi village. She studied at Ndindindi Senior Primary School and Mkume Junior Secondary School. Rest in peace, my friends. Rest in peace, Charlie. Oh, rest in peace, Bubella. We'll leave it there for now. We'll take a quick break. We'll be back shortly.